Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, I will explain you how you can create a REST API for your Postgres database and in one, like in very few steps using Cephers. Cephers is nothing but it's a SQL Alchemy Flask RESTful API Swagger. Swagger is for is an API client so that you can test and run. Uh, and this will generate API for your all the tables uh, without any issue, you don't have to code it separately. There is no code, but you can customize it later. That's all on you. So let's start with a demo. So I will just uh, go into my C directory. So I will just create this. So first step is like you need to clone this. Uh, uh, you can say a repository. You need to understand one simple thing. If uh, this will work with uh, currently, it will work with 3.7 Python. If you have 3.8, you have to downgrade to 3.7. Else, there are a lot of changes. This is not still compatible with 3.8, but you can use it with 3.7 without any issue. So uh, once we clone it. So for if you don't have this git clone command, you just need to download git bash from the Google, just search on Google and you will say git bash and you will get an application which will install this git client on you. Let's just wait for a second. It will take a few seconds to complete. It's taking some time. Okay, now the cloning has been completed. Let's go to next step. That's just getting to this directory. And then first you just have to run this command, which is pip install our requirement text user. So it will install all the, you can say repository which is required. Currently it's already installed for my application. So it won't be installing much of the things. Once this is done, you just need to copy this command. Sorry, not Python 3, just copy this command and run. So it will again take few seconds for you. Like currently you have almost things set up, so it won't be taking that much time. Once this is done, now let's just see how easy it is to get the ready. If, uh, like make our API. So just you have to go into this expose existing, uh, ex you can say uh, Python file, which will be in the directory expose existing and then you just have to pass your uh, your connection string for your postgre for that you may need to download postgre uh, python let me just show you postgre python there is a library you need to install library which is yeah for uh, psy cob copg this one you need to install uh, because this will have your uh, you can say directory for uh, uh, your PostgreSQL yeah, for your SQL alchemy. Once that is done, you just need to pass this one. You don't need to pass the single quotes. If you have a space in your password or something, then you just use double quotes, not use the, uh, don't use the single quotes. Once this is done, just run this command, and it will take few seconds, and it will automatically build on top of your database. Now I have used one database which is called as uh, DVD rental, which is free database for testing on PostgreSQL. It has few tables like active address, CD, and those kind of things. So automatically these all methods will be exposed by this. So by default API will be host at this uh, port like 5000 port. You can use uh, any port like you can mention in your configuration. Once this is done, now you can see we all, all the tables are here. So let's just give a test by, uh, let's say, we'll say language. I think language will be, let's see what we have in get request. So you, this is for trying, this is this is the swagger. This is for your try client. You don't need it. You can just directly use it or you can use Postman or whatever you want to do. So let's say language is English. Okay, so language is a small table. So let's just create, Let's just uh, query this table out and we'll insert some value and see whether we are able to do it without any issue. This is very quick, you can say, way of creating your API. Let's see what is the last language. So let's insert one more language and I will just post a language. Try it out and click on execute. Oh, sorry, I created an empty language. Let me just create a new 
language say like test language and I can click on execute again this is my response after this one it inserted ID uh, one more eight ID it has returned for the new object now if I query again now here you see a new language inserted this empty language inserted because we didn't change in the first demo so i hope and with this way you can easily do it you can host it to uh, use a docker and you can host it on ecs containers or any of the you can say docker containers and it will be uh, quick for you to deploy you, uh, i will be adding further videos for adding authentication to it if you need uh, if you find this helpful, uh, then uh, put a comment. If you need any help, you can uh, link, you can contact me on my uh, Skype, that is yogesh.mail at live.com, on my Gmail also and on WhatsApp also. I hope this uh, video would have been helpful for you to create an API on top of your Postgres database. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.